Let's do this, Dan. Dan Sexton, I only want to hold you, hold you through your three-day tears, hold you in the late afternoon when the cold begins to creep through your thin wooden walls. I just want to hold you, Anne Sexton, cloak your shoulders of gentle, dysfunctional motherhood with a light blue sweater and pearly buttons. Warm you up with my human furnace, softly salute your forehead with my two fingers. Continue to hold you and to pet you, only to let go long enough to light your cigarettes and to empty your ashtrays, your mountainous ashtrays of Vesuvian ash. And then I will hold you some more, smooth the little wisps of hair from your raccoon eyes, renew your barrette, fetch you brandy from the darkened kitchen, pour it into your favorite milk glass, light you a fire in the pot belly stove, hold you on the sofa some more, listen to you thinking in filigree. The gossamer doily of your frenetic mind in that ultra real manner of misty gods and unfertilized eggs. With the swords you clench at night and the baby birds you hold in the morning, and I want to steady your sonic soul. It's lost all control of your triumphant failures. I want to remind you of you and K.O. up on the beach in Maine with your ears next to those reticulated shells. Listening for the awful rowing toward God. Of your daughters growing up way too fast for your comprehension of the miracle that afternoon on the ferry where you vomited into the East River but were sure that you had touched the lost kingdom of Atlantis. I want to hold you, Anne Sexton, inside of your vexed dress, rock you in your sofa cradle, give you solace, reaffirmation that yes, there exists a world outside this one for you. This all too temporary sojourn through punishment and joy, the violence of sunshine and rain, the maudlin beauty, the ordinary pain. Yes, Anne Sexton, in reply to your consternation and conjecture, faith and indifference, there does exist a world for you where the moon shines on both sides and fertile are the strip mines and there are no mirrors and the river hisses with God and the shameless flyers fly and everyone wins the googie collie dogs smile from ear to ear The sigh is collective. Where W.D. Snodgrass always replies to your letters in a timely fashion. Where you can always hold your liquor and your pills. Procreator angels balancing your step, whispering in your ear just the right things to say to those publishers at those stillborn literary gatherings. Oh yes, Anne Sexton, there is a world for you. In this you must trust with all of your unfettered faith and clarity. And if another brandy lends levity to your lucidity, allow me to bear that burden Bring it close to your classic lips. Assist you to drink the droplets from the top sides of the leaves. 
the running forearm sweat of workers cajoled to continue the nectar of Nefertiti, the rivulets of Ra, the soothing juice of blooms. I want to hold you, Aunt Sexton. I want to bury you tranquilizers like you bore your children. And we can celebrate your uterus. Let you swirl in circles of artful black and white cigarette smoke. <clears throat> Find the comfort in my arms, Aunt Sexton. In my big white handkerchief, here to absorb each tear you release, I'm here for you, honey. Let me be your timepiece, your wallpaper, the beacon of light upon your desk, the wistful pull within your heart, the foreign symbols adorning the keys of your black typewriter. Let me be the check in your mailbox at the end of your country lane. Let me be the acceptance of your peers and your critics. No, strike that. Fuck your critics. <laughs> Let me be your Cambridge lunches with Sylvia Plath, the ones where you both felt like word goddesses and you were. And you both felt like the blind leading the blind. And you were. I want to hug your heart, Ed Sexton. Your water, melon heart. You're wider than a watermelon heart. That heart which pumps like a rabbit caught in a trap. Mistress of the simile, just let me hold you. Drain you of your pain. You can give it to me. You can give it to me because I can take it. Your wellspring of relief here, me. I can take it. Let me carry your cross, Anne. Is it all right if I call you Annie? No, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wear your crown of pins, Anne. You needn't pierce yourself in the name of the New Yorker. God loves you, Anne Sexton. Yes, she does. In all of her intricate lace, she loves you like her own baby cub. Allow me, Anne. No, I insist, Aunt Sexton. Let me hold you now in light flannel folds of orange warmth and glory. And lead you to Mecca, the fury, the fury of love.